Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the final edition of Telling It Like It Is for 2019. Merry Christmas to everybody. As you can see, myself and uh, and Curtis are really decked out in our uh, our sexy, ugly Christmas uh, sweaters, but he's won up to me and gone with a suit. Uh, my name is Jade Alberts, and I am a small business strategist here with uh, PeerGuidance.ca. Um, again, my guest today is Curtis Dooley. Curtis, thank you for joining me, and how are you today? Yeah, I'm good. I'm very good. Thanks for having me on here. Appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't want to one up you. I seen your your last video. You had the Christmas sweater, and I bought three of these suits for some parties. So I thought I'd throw this one on for the festive season. Oh, that is one solid, solid suit, and I absolutely love it. And and I'm happy you won up to me. I'm gonna have to step my game up for next year. <laughs> I know when we. Um, uh, before I always uh, start our little introduction, I, I I like talking about how we how we connected and and we connected in a lot different way. I mean, we kind of maybe knew of each other a little bit back in back in the day in Saskatchewan, and you were a, a pro hockey player. But I, one of our co kind of mutual friends tagged us on on Facebook and said that we should meet, and we did. And and you know, four or five months later, here we are. Yeah, no, it worked out good. Uh, considering it was yeah, it was a Facebook tag and. Um, yeah, met for coffee, and then we, of course, small hockey world, like anywhere, is we get talking and we know more people than than we thought. So yeah, it was a good connection. So yeah, and here we are, circle and, back. And exactly, here we are, and uh, and ready to roll. So I'll do a brief introduction, and then we'll get into it. Uh, Curtis was born and raised in small town Craig, Saskatchewan. Moved away from home when uh, he was 15 to pursue a hockey career. Played pro hockey for 10 years, USA, Sweden, and the UK. Moved to Calgary in the fall of 2014 to work in oil and gas right before the last economic dirt town hit. Uh, he's been working in the oil and gas ever since and has additionally been helping small local Calgary businesses with their marketing and advertising on the, si on the side. This has worked out nicely in regards and has been recently asked to help launch the trusted business model into Alberta for the first time. So I know the company started in Saskatchewan doing Saskatoon and, and Regina, and now um, you've you've expanded it to Calgary. So please let us know why uh, Trusted Calgary, the Trusted brand, has decided to expand into Calgary. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick tidbit. Um, yeah, so Sarah, the, the owner of the business, uh, obviously came over from uh, the UK years ago. Um, I won't get into too much detail, but yeah, I became kind of a single mom with, with kids and needed and had a lot of needs, right? So um, didn't know where to go for that, for the plumber, for the electrician, the realtor and getting set up. And, and we all know people in the world, you know, um, you know, small contractors and stuff would get ripped off. So she said, you know what, there's an idea here um, in yeah. terms of finding people that are trusted, find local businesses that you can actually trust and be verified. So yeah, that's the, the, the business model was created by her um, and has built it over the years, obviously starting in Saskatoon. And I probably get this wrong, 2010, uh, it started in Saskatoon. Uh, she built it herself. And then a year later expanded to Regina, um, had some, a little bit of help. And, and that's where I came in. Uh, I joined them, I think it was 2012. I had in between hockey seasons, I lived in Regina because uh, I went to university there. And yeah, helped uh, sign a few people up and then I went and continued to pursue, pursue my hockey career and yeah, circled back. So yeah, the, the idea was it was going well. The business model has been working uh, in Saskatchewan and there was, yeah, people were asking, are you going to expand? And she reached out to me being local in Calgary and said, Hey, I'm coming to you first to see if you're interested. Uh, we're going to try Calgary as our first expansion. So uh, yeah, we're kind of getting things rolling here. Obviously it's still in the, uh, infancy stage but uh we're out i call it a recruiting mission and uh it's going well so far we've been doing it for a few months now no and i mean it's amazing uh when you tell your story of sarah there about how how a lot of businesses start out of a need and someone says man i can you know i'm looking for this i need this and, and then boom all of a sudden your idea comes in you put a little effort into it and you've got yourself a nice little business that you're able to work out of your house and expand and grow and and obviously, uh, she you know got to know you and, and moved into Calgary. And I think there's a there's room here in Calgary. There's there's no doubt about that. Yeah. No. Like I said uh, to you earlier before we came on, it's just um, you know it's a bigger fish. Calgary is obviously yeah. three four times bigger than Saskatoon Regina, but there's going to be 
you know, challenges, but there's pros and cons. And I think there'll be the challenges that we can face and kind of figure out because yeah, there's opportunity. It's going to take a little longer to get it built a little uh, more strategic on, you know, who we verify and qualify. Um, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's, I think it's going to, the, the pro side is it's going to uh, allow, you know, there's a lot more, you know, industries, if there's realtors and plumbers and electricians in Calgary, that we can help narrow that search uh, down to, you know, to the three or four of the handful that we're going to have on our, on our, on our site. So. Oh, absolutely. I'm talking uh, with Curtis Dooley of trustedcalgary.com. You can go to the website, you can go to the comments section, you can click right on the link that's posted in there and it'll take you directly to the website. So I get, I mean, advertising, our dollars are tight. People's marketing budgets are tight. They spend money maybe on Google ads, Facebook, etc. I mean, what will set Trusted Calgary apart, and why should they uh, why should they advertise with you or or become partners with you? Yeah, it's uh, you know what being uh, I mean, I've been in sales for for ten years at least or more with all different kind of industries, and and ironically, I've I've worked uh, you know in real estate. I've worked with an IT company, construction, uh, you name it. So I've done a lot of different, I wore a lot of different hats in the different industries. So this is a nice fit for me, um, and this is something it's hard to initially kind of let people know what it is because you know i talk about you know it's it's yeah at some point it's a directory it's like the yellow pages or the better business bureau but it's but it's not uh it's so much more than that um we you know with the facebook ads people can advertise on their own with a google ad or facebook but we are kind of an all-in-one package to say hey we're not just a directory not you're not just paying to be on a listing we're not a social media manager where all we do is we write posts for you or we run a google ad we kind of do it all and the price to do it on a monthly you know membership once you qualify is so small incrementally than it would cost to hire somebody privately or to you know even in-house to run those marketing dollars to, to run ads and google ads consistently you know we bring everything in you're on a listing you've you know you've got me as a local somebody representing not just trusted calgary but trust uh, representing anybody that's on our listings as a, as a trusted partner. So I'm, you know, obviously if you're on our, if you're one of our partners, I'm talking about you. If you're not, I can't, I mean, that's how the business works. So, yeah. so we're, we're helping write blogs. We're hosting events, networking events. We're obviously become a business coach and consultant to say, Hey, what, you know, what are you doing in house yourself as much as you want us to help you? What can I, you know, suggest for you, let's, let's write some articles. Let's, uh, you know, let's host an event. Uh, let's do something on your social media channels, uh, et cetera. So yeah, it's kind of an all in one. It works. Um, and yeah, right now it's working well in Saskatchewan and Saskatoon Regina. So we're going to get it going here. No, that's great. I think, uh, I mean, I said I was on the better business bureau and, um, I, I didn't renew my membership for, and it's not because I'm, I'm I'm on your platform or not, but I just didn't see the value there. So anytime that I think that you can offer something additional like that, it, it's a big benefit to small companies and small businesses that, you know, where every penny counts and it, they, they are counting, uh, you know, how they spend their money. So, so on that, on that end, like what, what will it take for someone to become trusted? Yeah. So that's obviously that's how this works. And, and I'll just kind of re reiterate what we talked about. So yeah, the better business bureau, yellow pages, I mean, people pay money to be on a listing and, and that's kind of all you get. Right. So for us, it's, you know, we, we do a lot more than that um, by giving back and, and working consulting. So to become trusted, it's the same thing. We don't just, it's not a first come first serve basis. It's not, Hey, whoever, you know, pays first, or if I know somebody, they're on there. It's we do a, a full on verification process. We're, we're getting, you know, loads of references. Um, we make sure you've got a business license, you've got your WCB insurance, you know, based on what industry you're in. So we're, we're doing all the background check, we're taking all the stress out of uh, out of that verification process for everybody else. So we're kind of that that broker, the liaison in between, you know, yourself uh, and the and the client or the trusted partners out there to, to say, hey, we we've done the homework. Uh, instead of going to wherever you need to go, like come here, we've got you covered. So it's it's like the bank with your money. It, this is the safe yeah. place. Come here, and you know that's why it's called Trusted Calgary, Trusted Saskatoon, Trusted Regina. So, so will there be? Uh, will there be? I mean, anybody can go on to some of these other places. Are, are you going to be like having a uh, a quota, so to say? You can only have so many um, consultants, brokers, uh, mortgage specialists. Yeah, and and that's another part that 
why this is very unique and different. You know, people ask me, well, how is this any different than all these, you know, there's so many apps out there. There's, there's home stars and there's three best yeah. rated. And there's a, I mean, people are naming ones off I've never heard of. Um, but for us, it's, um, you know, it's the place to, yeah, it's a place to kind of go and be safe and, and be verified. So, um, kind of go from there. But. No, I mean, I think, I think it's a, it's a great, uh, it, you know, trusted Calgary again, you know, it can be a great asset to some small businesses and especially if you're going to be more than just, a, just a listing. So, I mean, as you, as you mentioned, like there are a few of them that, uh, you know, currently go and find local trusted businesses who act with integrity. They go that extra mile to satisfy the customer's needs. So I guess, how are you going to, how are you going to spread the, spread the word about uh, your expansion into Calgary and, uh, and, and share the story of, uh, you know, the successes in Saskatoon and Regina? Yeah, that's kind of one of the, obviously one of our next steps is it's going to, you know, take some time, but we've got the, fortunately we've got the marketing dollars um, from our business model from Saskatoon and Regina. So obviously Sarah and, and the team, um, we're, I call it, we're on a recruiting mission right now, right? So we're looking to build uh, people go on, on our sites to nominate. Um, that's kind of the hard part I, I joke about building. It's like building a hockey team or a sports team. You, you need to find the right fit um, to, to the right people to go on there. <clears throat> but at the same time, you know, we, you can't just, <laughs> can't take anybody. So um, we're <laughs> going to put, we're going to do a lot of stuff. We're going to run radio ads. We're going to have billboards around the city. Uh, it, it's like anything. I mean, people didn't know what the yellow pages were years ago. They didn't know what the Better Business Bureau was. Um, and like I said, for us to di differentiate ourselves is, yeah, we're we're a listing of Saskatoon only has those three people. Uh, so we have a maximum of three realtors, three you know electricians, plumbers. And how that works is we, <clears throat> like with the maximum side, right now it works in Saskatoon. We're a bigger city. So, you know, my goal is to get three for now um, and run it for the first year or so. Um, and then obviously if we need to expand, if the demand kind of gets bigger in Calgary, then we will, you know, we'll obviously bump it up to four to five to six to, to whatever we need to the point where we're still adding that value because people like to have options. They like to get two or three quotes, not just one. So that's what our, our platform allows us to do. Um, so that's why, you know, the model works in, in Saskatchewan. So we're kind of going to do the same here. No, that's interesting. I like that aspect of uh, of sending out quotes. Is that just something that they can just click on and it goes, uh, you know, funnels through your website, goes to the client? How how does that work? Yeah. So sorry. Uh, so yeah. So our so what happens is you do get a listing on our on our site. Uh, you know, I always hate using the word directory, but uh, Google likes directories. Uh, she likes things that are organized. Um, <laughs> so right now, you know, our job is obviously we're like anybody. We direct traffic to people come to our site just like they would to go to the yellow pages, et cetera. But we direct everything to your business, to your site, to your social media channels, your listing. You know, once people um, kind of see what we are and can go on the website, you can see we've got all your contact information, your emails, but we've also, uh, we'll be partnering here in the future with a quoting system that will be integrated into our listings as well. So more measurability, more tracking for us when I sit down with our trusted member, our partners to say, Hey, you know, now people are, are getting bids directly through your listing so that we can track it even more to say, hey, you know, you had, you know, had 10 bids this, this uh, month come through. You know, if people are asking what value you're getting for your money, <clears throat> there's another added value to, to what we're offering. So we'll give some updates with that. Um, I know we mentioned earlier. So uh, with the app side, we are going to be integrating some apps. Uh, we've got some stuff in the, in the works right now. So we'll announce that down the road as well once we make some updates yeah. and whatnot. So it'll be another, another channel, another thing to have on your phone to, for access um, to, to get to the trusted partners in site. Excellent. I'm, I'm talking with Curtis Dooley of TrustedCalgary.com. You can go to their website, click into it on the, um, in the comment section. So I know, um, is there one thing I forgot? I forgot to ask, so I'm going to do it right now. Is is there a? Do you have to sign up for a, a minimum? Is it like a one month, three month, one year, two year? Do you have different packages? Yeah. So right now, uh, the good thing right now is we're like I said, we're in recruiting. So yeah, um, 
it's a uh, kind of upon nomination and, and once we verify, <coughs> um, there's kind of a two step. It's there's a deposit contract, which is just your first month's <coughs> uh, first month's membership. So we're actually promoting people right now. You know, call it for free because we're going to give you an opportunity to kind of try it out. <coughs> and then when we go to launch, say, you know, we're obviously shooting for April 2020 to kind of fully put our marketing dollars into this and absolutely advertise it all across the city to, to let people know what it is. And then that's when your kind of your official contract will start. Um, and then that deposit becomes your, you know, will be your first month's uh, membership fee. So yeah, it's a, uh, there's different ways. We've got discounts. If you sign up for a year, it's kind of a month to month, but obviously okay. you know, we're, we're going to have a commitment for that, you know, six months to a year, obviously. And, um, but like anything, and I kind of forgot to mention this earlier, like for to become trusted, I mean, let's be realistic. I, you know, any industry you're in, there's no such thing as perfection because, you know, the hurdles we get is, you know, un, uh, for, or unfortunately, we've got people that like to go on and do Google reviews. And there's always that person that it, it doesn't matter how good you are. They just, you know, the negativity comes out and it's that one Google review that can tamper you and people are so scared is because of what happens with all of that um, yeah so it's kind of a you know that that's the fear of, of it but you know what 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 it works with us is we keep our trusted partners uh, accountable and that's how we've got the five trusted guarantees that they have to follow when they fill out the contract as well so you know if if you know price if the uh, quota price that's the price that you're you know you're going to have the customer if things go wrong and that's what i'm getting at things will go wrong uh, if it's a contractor or something doesn't look right it's the integrity of us and the and our partners to go back and fix it and that's some of the the differences where people out there that something goes wrong they're they're like ah well whatever i made my money on to the next and that's not how we operate and that's how this trusted family works the community is we hold people accountable and if there is a complaint or a bad review we step in as the mediators to say hey what happened here let's talk about this and and what are you going to do to fix it um and there if things do go wrong um, obviously, you know, contract or not, it's like anything. If, uh, you know, you see stuff in the news lately, uh, it's sometimes things, you know, contracts have to be broken and, and we'll make those decisions based on what the severity of the, of the issues are. So, you know, nothing is foolproof, but yeah. we do our due diligence to make sure that, Hey, the people were on here, we've, we've vetted them. They are going to be accountable. If anything goes wrong, they will, you know, they'll fix it. So. Oh, and that's good to hear. I mean, if, uh, I guess if uh, the parent company can't be trusted, how are people going to trust the people that you have on it? So uh, that's a good, uh, you got to look in the mirror first before you can go out there. So that's uh, really good to hear and really positive. Um, I know I mean, my, my next question is kind of, we've really discussed this. So I was going to ask what's next for trustedcalgary.com, but you've kind of, uh, I want to kind of spin that. What would be, uh, I guess, what would be your, year down the year down the road uh perfect scenario for you yeah i i mean anything it's i mean call it a startup right it's it's uh we're yeah. building even though the the business model is there and it's uh you know it's a franchising into alberta um it's going to take a, a good year to get this going like i said i'm here to help launch it help grow it um I mean, I, I can't wait to, to bring some, you know, it's all about building a, a, building a trusted team within our organization as well. And yeah. whether that's bringing someone from Saskatchewan to help me or hiring somebody local, which I plan to do is just to help me, you know, with the account management. Obviously, you get up to, you know, 60, 80, 100, over, you know, 120 trusted partners. Uh, I'm going to need some help. So I can't wait to get that built up and, and to kind of bring on my trusted team here and we can just keep growing this. And I guess what's next is, yeah, let's give Calgary a go. And if this works in Calgary, um, obviously Edmonton is next in the radar. Uh, I know the Saskatchewan uh, organization, Sarah and them have talked to Toronto, Vancouver. So, I mean, this is something nice. that uh, could definitely go across the, across the country. So uh, I think this is our first out of province. Let's see how it goes. And uh, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's challenging. And uh, so far things are going good. You know, the reviews, people are, you know, I tell them about it. And they're like, you know what? I like that. Uh, that's, a, that's a good idea. They've, it's something, not that they've never heard of something like this, but it's, it's new and it kind of, yeah, it's, it's something they're excited to see how it goes. No, absolutely. And that's a good thing. So my last question for you, uh, Curtis, is 
I mean, obviously you have, you're, you're, like you said, you're going to be start up here in Calgary, but you do have, uh, you know, it's, it is a successful brand in Saskatoon and Regina. So, but if you had one piece of advice for a small business and entrepreneur startup, what would that be? Yeah. Uh, I probably have a couple for you. Yeah. I was, I was actually helping a buddy of mine. He's got a small construction com commercial kind of construction building envelope company in the city. And I remember he told me, um, the one day he said, kind of run, you know, as a business owner, like run your business as if you're going to run it forever yourself and be the boss of it until you retire. But at the same time, being conscious to, to build your business, to sell it tomorrow. Right. So yeah. that's kind of one of the, it kind of stuck with me. It's right. It's making sure you're, you're building a, a business that has all the tools to run successfully, you know, and having your safety in place and your, you know, your sales reports and everything in tune. But at the same time, building it with the mindset of like, Hey, uh, if someone's interested tomorrow, is this thing ready? Is this business ready to sell? Because I mean, yeah, a lot of people, the end goal is, you know, build a business to sell it and, and continue to, to do that. So, um, with that being said, also just from a sales side, uh, making sure you're not just using one channel. It's, yeah. you know, it's the cold calls, it's the emails, it's honestly door knocking. And I, I've done a lot of it and, you know, nobody likes doing cold calls. Of it, some don't, but making sure that you're dipping into all those tools to not just be doing one thing. Don't have the horse blinders on because yeah. you, you know, you could be missing out on so much opportunity by by kind of horse blinding yourself into one one sales strategy or marketing and, and whatnot. And, and another thing is just right up from you know, I work for large companies to small. It's leadership is is huge. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you're 150 million a year company or or a million. It's you know your bosses and leaders. <coughs> need to be your best salesman as well so as much as they hire guys like me to, to run around and find work it's nice to see those leaders doing the same thing so yeah i, I guess that's my my advice for those guys out there no that's great advice and uh and i really appreciate you coming on curtis and uh and sharing your uh, trusted calgary story and I'm, I'm looking forward to watching you uh expand into the calgary market and if you need any help or anything from me um we are here for you so again thank you very much for coming on today yeah, no, I appreciate it. And yeah, let's uh, circle back in a few months and see how things are going. Oh, exactly. And uh, I mean, we'll be wearing normal clothes. And, and... Yeah, I might have to redo one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's just a tradition. Remember. We just keep wearing these every interview we do. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's all right, too. <laughs> exactly. Well, anyways, I, you know, again, thank you for coming on. I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas. And I wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And we will be back uh, Wednesday, January 8th. And uh, again, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Safe, happy holidays. And um, take care. Thanks again, Curtis. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Cheers. All right. Have a good day.